Yo, what's up? The unexpected happened. A Halloween event dropped. And unlike the normal enlisted game, this one is sci-fi based. It's basically a mix of Stranger Things and zombie mode. Now, at first thought, at first look when I saw it a couple of hours ago, I thought, what the hell is this? This looks very stupid, especially the, the skins of the weapons and the skins of the soldiers and the squads you can unlock look very strange. But then I went deeper into it and noticed, ah, okay, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to play anything of it in the real game. This is basically separate. So everyone who is shocked like me, don't despair. It's not much of a problem. So how does this event work? It works very nice because it's ridiculously fun to play. For those who played the zombie event six months ago, this is similar but much better. Six months ago there was a zombie event where you played on a map, a little part of Fortified District, and you always played on this little part and you just fought off hordes of zombies, different types of zombies, and you unlocked different weapons and you shot them all up. This event is much bigger and much more fun because you have different settings. You have different settings across multiple maps and enlisted. So far I played the Pacific one and the Berlin one. And I can tell you the Berlin one looks extremely good. It looks exactly like enlisted usually should look in Berlin with night mode and thunder and rain. And the Pacific one also has perfect immersive weather effects. It has dark rainfall, a very strong rainfall, thunder, you can see how the trees and leaves are shaking. This is insanely immersive. And it shows you that Enlisted can have good graphics and, and can have very nice, very immersive weather effects and environmental effects. So this is exactly what we want for the main game. So this is a good indicator that we can finally have this soon. Well, how do you play this event now? Well, simple. You go into the on the right side of the screen into the event tab and you open it up. And you can choose between the normal mode or the hard mode. The hard mode gives your enemies, so the zombies, zombies and demons by the way this time, because the, the zombies are led by demons who can shoot energy at you and who are much more dangerous than the zombies. And they get twice the life and you can only revive yourself with a syringe once. Uh, but you get many more tokens which is, well, what are the tokens? Very simple. You have, for this event that lasts for one month, a special separate battle pass. So you have dozens of stages and like the normal battle pass, half of them are for free and the other ones are locked behind a paywall of 900 gold. Now this sounds bad at first, but you don't have to pay for them. You can play the event completely for free. Now, this battle pass gives you access to multiple prizes like thousands of silver and customization orders and so on. And you also unlock a series of event skinned weapons, which are basically bloodied weapons. And you unlock two of four event squads. Now these event squads are not only quite cool if you like this type of stuff, but some of them are insanely good because the first squad I unlocked was the German one. And this squad is uh, basically, well, they are basically specialist squ squads because it's always five soldiers and you have a mix of multiple specialists. And the great thing is there's, for example, something like a medic squad, but a medic squad can have engineers and, and radio men and tank gunners. So this is literally a much better medic squad than the medic squad itself is. Now, one could argue, actually, it's like an engineer squad but that because there's only one medic but yeah this is these squads are very unique because we didn't have something like that in the game yet and the first thing i noticed this little engineer squad <coughs> is very aggressive it has only five soldiers but it's fair because if it had six it would be overpowered you can have multiple specialists and it can build an hmg so yeah it's actually something like a machine gunner squad more but it's, yeah, it's, it's a mix. You see these squads are very mixed. They just combine, multi, you, you have multiple abilities stacked on top of each other, which is something normal squads and enlisted don't have, not even premium squads. So yeah, this little German engineer squad is literally overpowered in BR1 
Funnily enough, I released the BR1 guide yesterday, because this engineer squad can have all the engineer structures and an HMG, which is something it's which, which, what's almost impossible to get on BR1. So I'm absolutely gonna play the squad in normal games, and you get for every of the squads one of the unique soldiers. Now some of them look very silly, but you can change the skins that they have. So you don't have to play the skins that they have. One of them is a samurai with a literally literal samurai armor and a katana. And you can change it too. Though I don't recommend changing his skin because there is a bug right now that you can't change it back if you want to put it back on. So I try to just keep him the way he is. The German engineer, I instantly changed him because he looked like an idiot with the open arms. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, these are the squads and in game you you just click on a squad and you just pick one of the so you just pick always the one soldier that's special you don't play the whole squad and you play the t the, the event in four man teams you can either queue to a game and get thrown in with three other players and then you just run around the map and kill zombies and do the missions which I'm going to explain in a few minutes or I recommend you stack up on the, for example, the enlisted Discord server with other people. Because if you stack up, not only can you coordinate better, but you don't have to wait for the queue. This is a significant advantage, you basically get instantly thrown into a game. Because there's no reason to wait if there's four players, since it's since it's PvE mode, it's not player versus player mode. Now, what, uh, well, in-game also, these, these four special squads, the one special soldier that you're playing, has special abilities. For example, the samurai has much more life than a normal soldier, is armored and has a katana and he's got a rocket launcher. The The German engineer can build sandbags, ammo boxes and a machine gun nest. Ammo boxes are most useful because you you don't have ammo supply everywhere on the map and sometimes it will save your booty if you can just randomly build an ammo box, also save your team. I recommend everyone to to have a mix of one engineer and one to two medics because the medics are absolutely valuable because you don't want to waste your syringes because these are rare actually. You unlock them in the battle pass progression for the event and every syringe can be only used once and if you used it up you cannot use it ever again for the rest of the event. So yeah, you, you rather get revived by a medic than by these things which are quite rare. Now, I've played so far three and a half games. The first game crashed literally a couple seconds before we won it. So yeah, my team won, but I didn't. <laughs> and the other three games we won quite easily. You just have to play careful. You just have to play careful. Don't fight if not necessary, because there's infinite zombies anyway to kill. But you don't get that much for killing. You only get re your rewards for doing the missions. And the fewer enemies you engage the better because if you do the missions there will be waves of enemies coming at you automatically so you don't want to ne unnecessarily run around the map now what are the missions very simple you start the game with a bunch of crates with your names written on them and these contain weapons now these starter weapons will be weak in the beginning but the deeper you progress into the battle pass the better the weapons can be the weapons are always random but the more weapons you have unlocked in the battle pass, the higher the chance that you get something good. Also, the chance, I think, is higher if you play hard mode than easy mode. And if you buy the battle pass, you get faster progression, so you will have the stronger weapons earlier unlocked. Now, my twice so far is the shotgun is very bad. It's only perfect in some good situations. The grease gun is really good because of the high damage. The stand is quite bad because it's just the worst... Uh, grease gun and a worse MP40 and the MP40 is also good. It's just reliable, fa quite fast and has good damage. So yeah, grease gun because of the very high damage and MP40 because of the overall good stats are the optimal weapons from the basic random weapons. You can, if you open your crates and you have a good weapon and your teammates don't, you can just drop your weapon and let your teammates pick it up. This is quite useful. For example, to make sure everyone has access to MP40s and grease guns at the beginning. And after you open your first crate, you run around the map and you look on your map where you have these icons for the gates. And you run towards the gates and you just go to them, click on them and you activate them. And then the waves of zombies come. 
And this is the reason why I don't want to just run around and kill every zombie on the map because there will be dozens, sometimes hundreds of zombies coming in a wave. And most objectives require you to click it to activate it multiple times. And you literally will have to kill something like 1000 zombies. And this is just extremely hard. So make sure after every single wave or whenever you get the chance, heal yourself up, grab enough medkits, always have maximum munition. And and just collect your team. Don't run around alone. Always play in, always play together. If you run around or run around alone, you will lose the game. So you teamwork is required. Always make sure to revive teammates. A really good trick is if you just uh, chain the zombies. For example, uh, this is the best strategy, by the way. If if you activate a gate and waves of enemies come to you, the first thing you want to do is you want to run in a direction with as few zombies as possible. Because there won't be all the zombies everywhere equally. There will be some areas with more and some areas with less. And then you kill the few ones and then you start quickly running away. Hopefully somewhere, for example, behind a wall, which slows the enemies down. And after a while, you will have a big, long chain of zombies be uh, following you. And then you turn around and you just start headshotting them from close up. And this is how you can quickly kill literally 10, 20 zombies within 5 seconds. This is the best way. And this works with the beginner weapons. I never had any good weapon. I only played so far the grease guns and the other beginner weapons. And my favorite one is the grease gun because of the very high damage, basically. And it works wonderful. Keep in mind there are some demons, like the demons with the special colors, like orange and purple. They are shooting stuff. You want to kill them first. And there are these bosses. And these bosses are very big giant zombies. And they have thousands of life points. And you will have to shoot them a lot of times. I recommend you to do the same running around strategy. Just let one teammate run around so the zombie follows him. And then just headshot him. All the others start headshotting him. And this might take a long as time because for some reason, this event, the bosses have insane amounts of life. Like I, there, there, there were literally situations where we shot, we, we, we did like thousands of headshots at one boss for five minutes straight before he died. Yeah, this was, this was quite stupid. But I guess in the, in the next coming days, once we unlock the better weapons, it will be much easier. Well, every time you unlock these crates, there's a chance that you get some Halloween tokens and you want to collect these tokens. All tokens are thrown together, so it doesn't matter who has them. Just make sure you open, also every player opens all of the boxes. And then at the end of the game, if you win the game by activating all the portals and running to, to the truck in the end, just click on the truck, like click F so you get into the truck and then you instantly win the game. And congratulations, now you have your Halloween tokens and with these you progress in the battle pass. What do you get from that? Well, you unlock these event squads that you can play in the normal listed games and you unlock these event weapons and of course the other small prizes. And these event weapons are basically reskinned high power weapons. For example, you get the Soviet RD-44, one of the absolutely strongest machine guns in the game. Then you get the American 100 round browning, you get the Japanese Type 100 with two barrels, you get the German FG-42 II, you get an STG, you get a uh, Thompson with 50 rounds, and you get, I think it's a captured PPSH. So, yeah, it looks like a capture, captured PPSH. It's hard to identify the weapon, actually, but yeah. Yeah, these are the really, really, these are these are top tier weapons. All BR5 weapons, of course. You get them completely upgraded with some nice skins. Also, Gaijin promised they will add a feature that you can turn the skins in in-game on and off, so you don't have to see these weapons if you don't like to, how they look, if you don't want to, to ruin your immersion, if other players run around with them. So yeah, also this this activation should affect the tank, which is basically a heavy, an upgunned Sherman with a 76mm, which, is, which can one-shot Tiger once. A really, really good weapon, really good gun. And also the, the four special soldiers who have... Some of them look very normal, but, but the samurai obviously doesn't look like a World War II soldier. <laughs> Though there actually was a Japanese dude who, as I already said in the beginning, who used the samurai armor in World War II. Yeah, so... Yeah. Though obviously this doesn't count. Exceptions don't count. It's still immersion breaking. 
yeah, this is the primer for the event. Now you know everything. It's very complicated and it's a lot of details and you really just have to play two rounds and then you know everything yourself. It's just it's just a lot of stuff to to process, but after playing it yourself, you will have no problems understanding everything yourself. All right? Let me know what you think and how your rounds were. As I already said at the beginning, I thought what the fuck is this? This is this looks stupid. But it's really fun. And just don't take it serious, it's not part of the normal game. It's just a Halloween event. And a bit annoying is that, that there is a battle pass, but it's not like you have to buy it. You can play the whole stuff for free. And, and get still all of the prizes. So, yeah. And it's similar to a normal event. Where you get all of the additional cool stuff. Especially the silver and so on. So, yeah. Enjoy playing the games. I'm gonna upload a good one, maybe. Well, I already have one in the background here. So, yeah. Enjoy. Until soon. Goodbye.